Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into the video on this 2017 Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, this particular Silverado is a pretty special one, it's the LTZ trim package. It's the second from the top, so it's going to be uh, more well equipped than an LT, uh, but a little less expensive than say a high country. It's going to give you a full leather interior, things like heated and cooled leather seats, and lots of other amenities that we'll go through as we go around the video. But let's start on the outside here, of course it is the Z71 uh, package on top of the LTZ trim level. It's going to give you the full body colored front end, which in this case the truck is black, so you get a fully blacked out front end, as well as blacked out Chevy emblems. Really looks good up here. You have the high intensity headlamps, as well as fog lights down low, and you can also see your front uh, radar or proximity uh, sensors going across the front end. Coming around the side, you're going to see a full chrome 20 inch wheel with a Goodyear Wrangler SRA tire. That tire looks to be about two thirds, maybe three quarters tread. Lots of life left on it. You have chrome capped mirrors as well as door handles there, as well as an accent that runs across the door. The Chevy uh, five inch tube chrome running boards there. Uh, one of the things in this truck I'd like to point out, it is the longer bed is the six and a half foot bed. Uh, you only have two offerings of bed length on the 1500 Chevys. Uh, in crew cab, you have a five and a half or a six and a half. This does have the longer bed, which I tend to prefer. Um, going to give you a little more space in the back, matching Goodyear tire and rim here in the back as well. At the back of the truck, you're going to see once again, your, uh, proximity sensors, as well as the two inch hitch receiver down low with both four and seven pin wiring. The previous owner of this truck did add a Kurt aftermarket, uh, integrated brake, or excuse me, Kurt aftermarket brake controller. In the front, I'll show you that when we get there. It does have a factory sprayed in bed liner and the owner also laid in a GM rubber mat in here as well. Uh, you can also see your power sliding rear window glass located right there underneath the third brake light. Once again, Z71 badging back here. If you don't know, the Z71 does give you uh, skid plates on your transfer case and fuel tank as well as a locking rear differential, locking G80 rear differential with a 342 ratio. Uh, it's gonna be really an ideal ratio for both towing, off-roading, gives you a nice balance of power and fuel economy, or excuse me, of torque and fuel economy. Looking in the back seat of the truck, lots of room here, of course, this is a crew cab, it's the biggest cab that Chevy makes, so tons of room here for your back passengers. You can fit three across the back, it does have the flow through console in the front, so you can seat five passengers total in the vehicle. Jumping into the truck, on the door here, you're gonna see your settings for your memory seats and mirrors. Those are located right there. You do have your uh, power child locks and window lockouts here, as well as your power windows, power locks, and then the buttons for your power mirrors, as well as your power folding mirrors. Put those back out. Down here, you're gonna see your Bose premium audio system. You'll find the Chevrolet all-weather mats throughout the vehicle, Z71 badge in there on your door sill. And you can see you have a 10-way adjustable power seat with power lumbar as well. So the base of the seat can go forwards, backwards, it can go up, it can go down, and it can also tilt back and forth. Uh, between that and the power adjustable pedals, you can really get yourself comfortable in this truck, as well as, of course, the tilt and teles uh, telescoping wheel there. So lots of ways to make yourself comfortable in this truck, no matter how you prefer to drive and sit. Jumping in here, taking a peek at the key. Of course you do have remote start on the key. Starting up the truck, you have just over 76,000 miles on the truck here. Um, of course, full set of gauges there. Uh, all of your light control, excuse me, your light controls and your transfer case, case controls are on the left hand side as well as your instrument cluster brightness. Um, it does have integrated signals in the mirror there. Taking a peek into the center stack, of course nice touch screen there. You can see your backup camera here with a nice predictive line. AM FM radio as well as Sirius XM radio are equipped on the vehicle. You also have a CD slot down low. Dual zone automatic climate control for both the driver and the passenger. As you can see, you can sync those together, or if you and your passenger do not like the same temperature, you can actually change it so that your passenger can be 80 degrees while you're 65 degrees. Um, and if you hit auto, it will try to maintain those temperatures just like your house would, and sync moves them back together. Turn that down. Uh, like I said before, you do have power adjustable pedals here, 
You also have your traction control, cargo lamps, the button to turn your park sensors on and off. Uh, if you're backing up to a trailer, you're going to want to turn those off so you don't have to hear the beeping noises. And uh, hill descent control. In the center stack, you have lots of plugs here, two USBs, two 12-volt power outlets, and then, of course, a 110-volt uh, standard plug power supply. This is rated for 400 watts, so you can use it for things like your phone charger, your laptop charger, uh, and things of that nature. Uh, get a lot of questions. You cannot use it for... Uh, like a heater or anything like that. It's rated for 400 watts. Um, close all those. Like I said, full flow through center console. Lots of storage here, both in the sides, in the center, cup holders. This can actually move if you pull on it. Um, you do have a, a wireless phone charger here and then a large storage in the middle as well. Two more USBs, uh, one more auxiliary over here and then another, yet another 12 volt there. So you have lots of spaces to plug in your portable electronics, uh, spotting lights, things like that, uh, whatever you tend to use in your vehicle. Uh, in here, of course, lots of storage in here as well. Um, down low, you're going to see your owner's manuals, um, the original window stickers actually in the truck as well, and the results of our multi-point inspection. Every vehicle that goes through our shop in the used car, on the used car side, uh, undergoes a 43-point or excuse me, 45 point multi-point inspection. Uh, it always gets a new oil change and a fresh state inspection sticker, regardless of what we found. Uh, we also make everything um, past the multi-point and the tr tires have to be at least three times the state minimum. In this case, they are 930 seconds. That's about 80% of their original tread depth. The brake pads are 10 in the rear and 12 in the front. So once again, probably 75 to 80% of their original pad depth. Lots of life left in the wearable parts of this vehicle, along with new engine and cabin air filters and a fresh oil change. Taking a quick, quick peek, excuse me, at the Carfax here, you'll see that it is a one owner vehicle that's been owned in Pennsylvania all of its life. Uh, the driver put about 12,000 miles a year on it, so almost perfectly average miles. The American average is 12 to 15,000. Last part of the video, we're going to try to show uh, dent stings and imperfections on the truck. Uh, of course, it is a six-year-old vehicle. It's in relatively good shape the whole way around. A couple little dents and scratches that I will point out as we go around. Uh, up here in the front end, pretty typical chips and marks here on the bumper, as well as some items that have been touched up across the hood. There's some pollen laying on it as well, so you can see that. Uh, so a couple little chips there. Coming back this side of the truck, one little chip there, overall in good shape, coming back the side. I think that's just, yeah, that's just a mark. Sitting out, that's just some dirt there. A uh, little scratch there. Rail caps look overall pretty good, some small marks on those, as well as on the tailgate cap. Bumper doesn't look to be dinged up that I see. Everything looks good down there. Little chip there. Basically some typical Pennsylvania chips here, um, overall in good shape, not all dinged up or anything like that. Uh, if you're looking for a really well-equipped, super sharp LTZ truck with that 6.2 liter under the hood and the six and a half foot bed, uh, this is a great option for you. Stop out and check us out at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at All Things Automotive or give us a call, allthingsautomotive.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day.